After more than a year of legal wrangling, the examination of evidence begins in earnest. Russian Sergei Dubinsky, Igor Gyurkin and Oleg Pulatov and Ukrainian Leonid Khachenko aren't in court to hear the case being made against them. They're being tried in absentia and Pulatov is the only one to have legal representation. The judges last week inspected the partially reassembled wreckage of the MH17. The questions before them now include, was the plane shot down by a Russian-made Buk missile? Was it fired from an area in eastern Ukraine held by pro-Russian separatists? And did the defendants play a role? 298 people, the majority Dutch, died when their Boeing 777 was shot down over the conflict zone almost seven years ago. It was on a flight from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur. This phase of the trial is expected to last several days. The court won't hear from victims' relatives until September. Neil O'Reilly, Euronews. Well, this is hugely significant, Annalise. You have to remember that this is one of the largest criminal investigations in Dutch history with uh, dozens of prosecutors, hundreds of uh, investigators and thousands of pages of evidence. Finally, all that information will be heard and will be laid out uh, in court. According to the international team of investigators, as you heard before in this uh, story by Neil O'Reilly, uh, the investigators believe that uh, MH17 was shot down from a missile from from a place uh, in eastern Ukraine controlled by Russian-backed separatists. Now, that Buck uh, missile, uh, surface-to-air missile, came from an anti-aircraft unit based in uh, Russia. Uh, so the trial will need to answer the three questions that he also mentioned, namely, was it really a Buck missile? Where was it fired from? And what exactly was the responsibility of these uh, four individuals? But I guess, at least, the bigger question that looms over this trial is why did this happen? Uh, and Perhaps we'll get an answer during this trial, but some evidence seems to suggest that this could have been an accident. Uh, some say it could be something else. We still don't know at this stage, and that's why this trial is important. It started today shortly after 10. It is a live stream event, so the uh, families and the relatives of the victims can follow it. It will be painful for them, but this is a moment that they have been uh, waiting for. Today it's largely about procedural matters. The real content will begin tomorrow, and we expect it to, this to last well into uh, 2022.